welcome back. New Zealand is famed for its innovators and number eight fencing wire solutions. To further develop and encourage these trays, Auckland's Unitech offered a course in entrepreneurship for the first time this year. The Master of Business Innovation and Entrepreneurship focuses on turning ideas into success, both locally and internationally. Here to explain how it's been working is course director, Dr. Peter Melilieu. Good morning, Peter. Good morning. Ex uh, tell us a bit about what sort of person took on this course. Well, the kind of people we're looking for are those who have ideas and want to make them work, or the people that want to work with those people, consultants, corporate developers, business development managers, teachers and consultants even. Uh, now, you took on 38. Now, I gather you actually ended the year with quite a few less, but that, in a way, was seen as a sign of success. Absolutely. Uh, quite a few of the students um, were involved in businesses already, and uh, success is, uh, it takes 20 years to achieve overnight success. And along the way, some of the entrepreneurs, uh, fantastic opportunities came their way, and they said, sorry, we've got to leave. We may be back, but we've got to go and make this happen now. So that was one of the main reasons that people had to leave. So how many? How many was that the case for? Um, probably about two-thirds, about, uh, probably about 10, 12 of those that uh, left the program had compelling demands to go away and do something else. Now, there is that theory that you can't teach something like entrepreneurship or something that, that you're born with. Uh, what, what, do, what are your findings from this first year? Well, um, entrepreneurship is felt very much by it. There's a talent for it, there's a temperament for it, and a technique. What we can do in a university situation is develop the technique, the practice of entrepreneurship, but it's best to start with some kind of talent, some kind of temperament. So we're looking for people that uh, may be a little bit out of the ordinary. Uh, they uh, tend to be extrovert, they tend to be intuitive thinkers, uh, and they tend to not make quick judgments. They like to bring together quite a bit of variety of information before they make their decisions, and then they go for it. But how are you going about the process of teaching them? Right, well, we create environments for them at Unitech. Um, a whole variety of ways uh, we create learning adventures. We had one group of students as part of the uh, startup. They developed the next challenge development team for the America's Cup, and we had the match racing on, uh, on, on Auckland Harbour. Uh, we culminated the whole program where the students had developed their, their business plans, and they presented them to uh, an angel investor and uh, it was a real simulation and uh, some of those students will go further forward with the particular plans the investor said yes i know what you can do with this so we have some talk and chalk um, we have outdoor adventure learning we develop something called learning agility at unitech they can learn in a variety of distant, different situations that's the focus and you, you effectively coordinate talents from all around the world i gather to, as as your teachers that's right. We began the program as a virtual university, really. So we have international professors from, uh, from England, from America, and from Australia. And, uh, but that's not enough. We have to blend in the, the Kiwi expertise. And we do that by bringing in local entrepreneurs and innovators and, and consultants, people like that. And then we bring in the local academics who add, well, this is how it works in New Zealand. So the students get, it's a dialogue between these different three, four forces of people. The, the local entrepreneurs, how, how do they find that experience of, of imparting their knowledge? Is that something rewarding for them? They do. They really enjoy it. And uh, Unitech has a very good relationship with uh, a, a board of quite outstanding entrepreneurs. And uh, they love meeting the students. They enjoy the energy that the students bring to bear on, on the interactions. And there's quite a few informal networks have sprung up between them and some of the students in the class. Those that have stuck with the course for the full year, what, what happens next for them? Right. Well, about a third of the students have decided they will switch to a fast-track program next year, so they'll be operating full-time. They learn to turn gorillas into gorillas. They learn to create big global businesses next year, and we'll include an industrial study tour trip overseas. So we're looking for money to make that happen. Um, uh, another third, probably we expect, will actually pause their studies and, and go off and, and, and make things happen. And another third will continue with the part-time program. It's a weekend program. And one or two will actually translate into a PhD research program to follow up on the global monitorship research that we did earlier in the year. Okay. Thanks very much for your time there, Thank Dr. You. Peter Melilieu of Unitex Innovation and Entrepreneurship Course.